How'd you get into comedy? I guess it was about four or five months ago. I, uh, I've always written, but I've always been too nervous to get up on stage and do anything. So went to a couple of the uh, writing sessions at the Funny Bone and saw a couple open mics and uh, gave it a shot. So uh, that's kind of how I got into it, just as a form of stress relief, really. So is that the, that's the appeal of it, or is that that's why you got into it, is, is stress relief? Yeah, it's, it's a way for me to get stuff off my chest. It's a way for me to uh, explore things that I can't really talk about at work. Yeah, you, you deal with some pretty, uh, you, you, you don't uh, hold back on some of your stuff. It's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I like the ability to get up there, and even though you're saying stuff in front of a lot of people, it's still kind of anonymous. I mean, they don't know you, but they can hear your story, and a lot of people can relate to it. Okay. Do you have a philosophy of comedy? Um, just say what is on your mind, be as honest as possible, and uh, try to make people laugh. Okay. Who would you say your influences are? Uh, George Carlin, um, Bill Cosby, current comics I really like are uh, Brian Regan, uh, Ted Alexander, guys like that. And what are your thoughts on the Richmond comedy scene? I think it's, I think it's great. I think it's growing. I think it's uh, really diverse. I think you've got the straight and narrow all the way down to the twisted and uh, diverted as, uh, as much as you want to go. So I, I really like, I've made a lot of good friends that I never would have had in my normal 95 uh, play date type of lifestyle. So uh, I think the comedy scene is really good.